mysterious creatures at the bottom of the world. The Mariana Trench is the deepest known place on Earth. Being also the least known place on the planet, it still managed to give researchers quite a fright with the monsters lurking in its depths. Most information on the world's ocean is deliberately concealed, but even those snippets that are available destroy our understanding of reality. The Mariana Trench is located in the Western Pacific and is a crescent-shaped trough in the Earth's crust that measures about 2,550 kilometers long and on average 69 kilometers wide. The depth of the deepest spot of the Mariana Trench is about 11,000 meters. To compare, the altitude of the world's highest peak, Mount Everest, is 8,848 meters, which means that if Mount Everest were dropped into the Mariana Trench, there would still be about two kilometers of water above its peak. In 1960, Jacques Picard was the first human to descend to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The researcher reached the ocean bed in a deep diving bathyscaphe. After the 11-kilometer descent, which took them almost five hours, Jacques Picard and his colleagues spent at the bottom only 20 minutes. But even the scant time they got was enough to make them reconsider what they knew about the ocean depths. Based on what they saw during their journey, the researchers claimed that life does exist in the greatest depths of the ocean. At the bottom of the Mariana Trench, they discovered creatures previously unknown to science. Huge mollusks, alongside strange fish, felt quite at ease so incredibly deep underwater. It seemed totally impossible to imagine any living organisms surviving in the extreme conditions of the Mariana Trench, in its eternal dark. The discovery of life at the depth of 11 kilometers was not the only factor to make this descent famous. Years later, the declassification of Jacques Picard's logbook revealed the information that makes your blood run cold. About one and a half kilometers underwater, the scientist makes a horrifying entry. There's a large disc-shaped object seen through the observation porthole that appears to be accompanying the bathyscaphe. The object is maneuvering with a clear intention of studying us. This meeting produced an indelible impression. The object had distinct outlines that excluded any possibility of mistake. It is hard to imagine what would have happened if the bathyscaphe had come in contact with the unknown object. Fortunately, in a few minutes, it disappeared, causing no harm. The question of who or what it was will forever remain a mystery. Among the numerous versions, there is one that says the mysterious object was produced by an unknown underwater civilization. Yet another explanation claims it was a prehistoric underwater creature. Insufficient knowledge about these objects suggests that they can really turn out to be produced by other civilizations. Another story dates back to 1985, when the Glomar Challenger, a prototype of modern oil drilling platforms, conducted the investigation of the ocean bed in the Mariana Trench. In order to determine whether to start drilling the ocean bed, the researchers decided to lower into the water 11 kilometers below the surface an automatic probe equipped with echo sounders and high-sensitivity telecameras. A few hours later, while the investigation was still in progress, the echo sounders suddenly captured strange noises, and the cables holding the probe stretched as if someone was trying to snap them off. The scientists decided to suspend the investigation, lift the equipment to the surface, and determine the cause of its weird behavior. But the underwater platform would not move. It seemed to be held by some unknown force, with the cables stretched to capacity. After a non-stop three-hour struggle, they did manage to lift the equipment, and only because the unknown force seemed to release the cables. The researchers gaped at a terrible picture. The probe looked as if it had been in the mouth of an underwater monster. The platform bore traces of bites, and some steel cables were snapped off. 
it feels scary to even think of someone who could do it. The ocean bed lying 11,000 meters below sea level had been considered to be uninhabited. What happened in the Mariana Trench caused lots of noise due to the appalling condition of the platform and cables. The official version was an attempt at preventing the spread of panic among the fearful crew members. It said that the damage was caused by the platform catching on a cliff. But everybody on board the ship realized there was something huge and extremely powerful in the depths below. The official version provided a pretty logical explanation of the situation. The ocean bed in the Mariana Trench is strewn with real mountains. It can be called a true mountain kingdom. However, the area where the study was conducted was totally devoid of mountains. Besides, in case of collision, it would have been registered by the computer. Then, logically, there was nothing the platform could catch on. Apart from the damage, there also were those terrifying, gut-wrenching sounds that failed to be explained. A sensational version was later voiced by biologists. The only creature capable of damaging the cables and platform was a gigantic relic, underwater monster Megalodon. The idea is rather controversial as, first, Megalodon is a huge prehistoric shark, 22 meters in length and 50 tons in weight, a long extinct ancestor of modern sharks. Megalodons are considered to become extinct a million and a half years ago. But it turns out that Megalodon is not extinct. It took refuge in the depths of the Mariana Trench. This idea was confirmed later when scientists discovered a gigantic tooth the size of a palm in the vicinity of the Mariana Trench. Thorough research has confirmed the tooth did belong to Megalodon. More recently, a Japanese dry cargo ship floating over the Mariana Trench was struck against the board so severely that the ship literally sprung. Surprisingly enough, the water surface remained totally still, and there were no reefs or other obstacles in sight. The crew of another vessel named Federico Padre saw a giant water column along its course. Just imagine the terror seizing the sailors. There are numerous other equally inexplicable riddles, and not a single solution so far. If you liked our video, please subscribe to our channel. There's lots of fun stuff ahead.